Facebook, YouTube, good early afternoon. Today is June the 24th. I have a special guest with me all the way from Indiana. That is Mr. Mayo King. He uh, flew down from Indiana to do a ride along with me today to learn about the screen and recoding. He's also a part of my private hardwood group. So show you guys what we're gonna be doing today on this job is a screen and recode. We are gonna be recoding with semi-gloss. Um, customer moved into the house, I think about three months ago, came out here, gave them an estimate, and they're ready to get the floors enhanced before they start putting furniture in here. Um, what is the total on this job, guys? This is... Uh, 1,124 square feet of screen and recoding. All right, so here you can see there's no furniture. Here uh, you can see all these scuff marks, all these micro scratches. Now they do have some deep scratches, like I told them. The screening does not get out deep scratches, only the uh, only the uh, micro scratches of the surface scratches. But deep scratches like this right here. See that, guys? screening would not remove that but we but sometimes the polyurethane will help fill it in to make it less noticeable the hallway this area right here here again a lot of surface scratches we do got some deep scratches but the screen is going to help enhance all this right here and down the hallway kitchen area and here all right guys we're going ahead and get started come back and show you some results stay tuned to uh, move all right guys so you can see this little area right here i'm going to give you guys a demonstration and i'm going to put this in male hands so he can get some hands-on experience And two passes, male always works best. Okay. Yep, a up pass and a sound and a down pass in the same direction. So y'all see? Let me show you what I was talking about. I'm show, show my clients. So if you see the pass that I made, you see the difference with all the scuff marks. And it's, so that's what the screening does. It just breaks down all that, that, that the polyurethane that's still left because most of the surface scratches is in the polyurethane, not in the floor. Mm -hmm. So when we put the new poly down, it's nice, plain and smooth. Okay. Yep. You go ahead, Mel. Oh, it's like that mercury that I had, man, that thing be vibrating all over the place. Yeah. Thing knocked a few pictures off the wall one time. Yeah, it's cutting the poly off. Yeah. See where the sheen is going away? Yeah. Yep. Watch how those scuff marks come right out. That's all in the poly, not in the wood. Yep. See that? Wow. Take it right off. 
right out. Hey, Mayo, you didn't look dressed up right there, too. Hey, Get up that little dust right there. That little dust right there by your foot. Yeah. All right, guys, we are done. And I must say, my client, she is so, so happy. There was a lot of scratches in this area while I worked out with my palm sander. But my client was so happy, guys. She's written me reviews already before we even left the house and has already referred me to three of her friends. Um, so again, floors came out great. We added some tint to it to make it a little darker and she loves the darker look of the floors. And uh, yeah, so right now we're just doing a little final touch up, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this video, uh, you know, get the last record before uh, we start doing the uh, final touch up. Uh, thanks to Mel again for coming out. He really enjoyed himself. So we're about to go uh, do an estimate. And uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it. We'll be back at it tomorrow. I got another ride along coming out tomorrow. Brian from, uh, I think, Virginia. And uh, yeah, man, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more touching up on these floors. But overall, man, client is very happy. I'm very happy with the results. And thank you guys again for watching. Also, she wants a quote on these stairs. I'm going to give her a quote on these stairs before I leave. So, uh, all right, guys. Thanks again. See you in the next one.